Hi everyone, this is Connie from Connie's Creative Creations. Today I'm taking part in a Power Up collab, and we'll get back to the details on that in just a moment. So let's get started. Now this is a collab that you're using Power Tools. So I had to wait uh, a couple of weeks to get out into my garage because it was extremely cold for a few weeks there down in the minuses and just over zero so I had to wait and it was still kind of cold you can see I'm in a, a hoodie and I've got these um, one by sixes and I am making a shelving unit in my dining room I have a wall that has some stuff on it and shelves and it's where everyone walks past it and they bang in their head into it so I wanted to put something that would keep you from banging into that so I'm getting these uh, one by sixes I am going to be cutting I cut five pieces and here I am sanding them now a couple of them were a little bit bowed so you'll see in just a moment after I use this is my orbital sander that I'm using I have used my sander so much this is my third I've burned out the <laughs> the motor on on my others so I do have other sanders I have a belt sander and then I have a big one okay now to the uh, information on this this is the power up collab um, the host is Cancera DIY it and craft crafty unleashed by Robin and then there's a bunch of us that's in this collaboration. There will be a playlist. The link will be down in the description box as well as Robin's and Sarah's uh, links. Now this, what I'm using, is um, a planer. So it cuts off the top layer of the wood. And that helped me straighten out these um, pieces of wood. And then I went ahead and sanded the smooth so um, spots. Now I do have a angled grinder and I will be starting to use that. I'm just waiting on my wood discs that I had ordered. So I'm just working on getting these all done. Now everybody in this collab, we're all using power tools. Now the power tools that I end up using, of course, is I used my miter saw using my um, orbital sander, using my uh, um, handheld planer. I'm going to also use two drills and um, my table saw. So I was going to use some other things, but I thought I'll save some other ones for another time. I absolutely love working with wood. Um, the wood, the table I'm working on, my workbench, um, I made myself I has that section and then a lower section and then a higher section and the higher section is where my miter saw sits on and then I built another one you'll see in a minute that is on wheels so I can pull it out to the um, the center of the garage and I can go all the way around it and work on it and that's where my table saw I made it so that my table saw sits down in it so that I can use my table saw and um, no issues there at all. Now here you can see I'm just hooking these together. Um, as you can see I'm struggling a little bit and I should have pulled out my other table then but I had a bunch of stuff all the tile from when I did my kitchen was leaning against it and I just I didn't want to mess with it that day so I figured it out. I just put it down on the floor and I figured out how to do it. Now I'm using one drill to drill the, the um, pilot hole. If you do not drill pilot holes, your wood will crack and split. Now I did have some of that going on and that was my fault um, because of where I placed it and I had to fix it. But my other drill is to drive the screws in. Um, the first drill is um, yeah, it's battery operated. It's not as strong as my um, drill that has a cord. The motor on 
on that one is so much stronger that I can do almost anything with it. Okay, so now I'm getting this all done up like in a box. And then I'm going to put another shelf in the middle. And when I stand it up, I know I got to stabilize this because it was kind of wobbly. So I ended up cutting a piece of wood that um, was like a one by two. And I put it straight up and down in, in the, uh, the back to hold it stable and, and it works so here i am just putting that shelf in like i said i'm just driving the holes in there just so that i make sure now it didn't want to stay where i wanted it so i had to force it so yeah but i got it all done but then i decided you know what i don't want it just looking like this i wanted to put a top on it so back this last summer I took apart um, a very old and very broken beyond repair piano and so I took it apart and I saw I've got all that wood and so I'm going to use part of that wood for the top of this and that I'm not even I was gonna stain it but I it's beautiful wood I didn't even need to stain that I just sealed it and the bottom of this I am going to paint white now, just um, if you are brand new here, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys like my content and that you will um, plan on or make a decision to hit that subscribe button. It costs you nothing, but it helps my channel grow. And if you'll also hit that notification bell, hit it twice, click on the all, and you'll get notified or you should get notified every time I upload a video. And if you, and also, hey, give me a big old thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you'd like. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so glad you are here. So, now let's get back to this. As you can see, I'm hooking that brace right on the center there. And so it is stable. It's not going anywhere. So then I decide, okay, after I get this all hooked on, that's when I decide, okay, I'm putting that top on. So I'm going to, uh, I wait a day, I took a day off, and here I am back the next day, and it's a cold day again, and a uh, little bit colder than the other days, so that uh, hoodie stays on. So here I am just measuring for the top and they had some hinges and I was able to get one hinge out the other hinge I was unable to but it was okay because I didn't need that part but I'm just that would you can see how badly that was the top of the piano that's what it looked like it was so bad so I definitely had to sand it and the wood's so beautiful that I just sealed it I thought you know what I'm I'm not it was it's already dark so i wasn't gonna uh stain it now this is called a cross cut sled that i made for my um, table saw and i was having issues with it i was able to cut the first one so what it does is it holds the wood so when you cut it just it just cuts the material off now i was going to do the other one and it wouldn't work so i thought you know what i'll just do it with the table saw so you just have to be careful keep your hands away from the blade and I just turned it on and I pushed it right through there and it was done then I had to it was too wide so I had to um, measure it and then put my um, rip fence on back on my um, table saw so that I could rip off a piece of the wood off the side because it was way too wide it would have been too top heavy so I'm just measuring it and um, that way I will put my rip fence up so I can just slide it across there and it will cut perfectly so I am just moving it getting the blade ready and getting that fence ready so that I will have it right at the right exact um, thickness so when I push that piece of wood through the 
table saw, it will um, cut a straight line perfectly right where I want it. And there we go. And I'm using my little push blocks so I don't get my hands near that blade. And that is, it's done getting cut. So, now we're going to um, get my sander again, my, my orbital, orbital sander. And I'm going to sand that up. And that's when I find out how beautiful this piece of wood is. Because I couldn't tell. It was so bad. But I knew there was wood under there. And I figured, whatever. But look at that. It is gorgeous wood. I love wood. So, working with power tools and wood. Oh, yeah. I'm in, I'm in heaven when I do that. I absolutely love it. So, I'm just getting that all sanded. And then, um, I had to go get... Uh, 120 grit and sanded it and now I'm placing it on the um, putting it upside down on it and then I'm just going to drive pilot holes and put the screws in now these screws are um, inch and a half because this wood is an inch each so I knew it wouldn't go all the way through and I always measure anyway so I could get that all done then after that I it was getting super super cold so I was, my hands were freezing, even though I have a heater blowing on me, it didn't matter. So I put it aside for a couple of days, um, during some cold days, and now I'm back, um, on today, actually. And this is a really warm day today, it got up to, well, not really warm, it got up to 54 or 55, but that's pleasant in my garage. So here I am just sanding up some really, any, um, rough edges that is um, left from when I was doing all the different sand uh, cutting and stuff. And then what I'm going to do is grab some white ready to um, use white paint that has a primer in it. And it's house paint. And that's okay. And I'm going to um, put paper underneath this first. I'm cutting some uh, paper so that it doesn't get on my table. And I'm just going to put that paper right underneath. And then I'm going to grab that paint. And I show you. It's um, already to use. And then I'm going to paint the bottom of this white. Like I said before. And seal the top. And uh, yeah. So I had to put some blocks underneath there as well. To get it up off of the, um, the table. So that it doesn't um, you know, stick to it. So here I am just painting, and this took two full coats to get uh, full coverage. And uh, I did, I also, I didn't show you, I also made some little feet for it. So it picked it up off the floor by an inch. So when it is stood up, it is only, it's an inch off the floor. And so I am just um, painting and getting this, all the surfaces completely painted in white. And then I will seal the top with um, clear polyurethane in um, water base so it doesn't smell. I, I know that the oil base sometimes will give you a better um, coverage, but this you can do more than one coat if you decide to, as well as the other. It just, there's no smell. So I can take it in the house and do it if I want to. Okay, and with this challenge, we are having a gift away. And you need to comment on my video as well as everyone else's. They all have a secret word, and you have to write that in the comments. If you win, it will be a $50 Amazon gift card, and they'll pick the winner one week from today. So, my secret word... Is something I'm use I'm working with, but it's not power tools. So, if you can figure what out what that is, I say it many times in this video that I just love, love, love it. So, good luck. So I guess I think that a lot of this uh, collaboration is about don't be afraid of power tools. Um, they 
are amazing. I have table saw, miter saw, circular saw, jigsaw, scroll saw. Um, I have two two handheld sanders, one belt sander, um, two drills, a planer. Um, trying to think what else I have. Yeah, I have some other tools as well. I, there's still a few tools that I want to get, so I'm hoping to work on that uh, soon, I hope, but we'll see. Okay, so now this is the um, the polyurethane, and look at how beautiful this wood looks when after it gets that polyurethane on it. The grain just jumps out. Now, I have worked with wood for over 30 years, and I love the smell of wood. I love working with it. I love making things with it. But yeah, isn't this just gorgeous? I just absolutely love, love, love. So as you can see, this is the finished product, and just without anything. And then I decided, heck, I'll just decorate this because this is what I wanted to do anyway. So I took a moment and I got this all decorated. Now, like I said, hope you like this. I absolutely love it. Don't forget to call somebody and tell them you love them. Also, you guys all have the most blessed week. And be the Bible that somebody reads today. Bye.